they go from having fun one second to game face, I'm gonna shove this ball up your culo. <laughs> like that. And it's, uh, I mean, I can't do that, so it makes, it impresses me even more. I'm, I'm a concentration guy all day, like I can't switch in and out of things very easily, but our guys do it great, and it's, it's impressive to watch, especially the man at the end of the game. He, he, uh, he'll joke around with the best of them, but when it's time for him to close down a game, he's, he uh, turns it on and turns it on in a hurry, and it's impressive to watch. So they're all, they all get on each other pretty good, man. With uh, Burl and DeRosa being gone this year, who do you guys think is going to step up and sort of take the new leadership in the clubhouse? You know, I think we'll find out in spring, you know, but, uh, you know, uh, and I think we just have a, a bunch of guys that, that are willing to step up or whatever. We have such a great team, and, and the chemistry that we've had the last couple of years is, is, has been great, and I think with everyone healthy now, uh, you know, I don't know if we're going to need one, two, three guys to step up, but I think uh, as a unit, um, you know, it'll make us a lot stronger. I think this guy leads by example. Um, he doesn't need to say too much in the clubhouse to be a leader. He does his leading on the field, and uh, the way he plays makes guys want to be like him. And uh, that's that. But um, I think Buster has great leadership characteristics, being the catcher. Uh, he. He definitely takes charge on the mound when it's when he needs to, and uh, you know he rubs off on us. That's for sure.